Welcome Procrast Creators. Today we are taking two bookshelves and making them into one bulky bookshelf. So the first part of this process is to remove the back panels of the shelves. And I'm actually doing four bookshelves and making them into two. So um, that's why you see another two off on the side. But you remove that back panel and after you remove the back panel, you want to remove the pegs that hold the shelves. Put them somewhere where you can find them when you're all done um, and where you don't lose any of them. Um, I went to a local hardware store and had them cut my pieces, um, pre-cut my pieces. So um, I think for this particular bookshelf, it was 49 and a half inches long and 37 and a half inches um, in height. So as you can see, I put my pieces that I had pre-cut down on the on to the bookshelf around along the edges and just stapled them into place. Uh, the middle slat there is actually the piece that's actually holding, I guess all of it really is holding um, the two bookshelves together. So as you can see, I trimmed all the way around the whole piece. And from there, just to fill in those holes from the staple gun, I used a little bit of wood putty to fill in those holes throughout the whole piece. From At this point, um, I took the shelves outside and <laughs> tried to spray paint. I watched some videos. It was like, oh, you need to spray paint these. Oh, it's going to take a while. It's, you know getting the coats even you got to have patience and yeah I don't have too much of that so I started with this whole spray painting thing and as you can see it looks terrible and I'm not liking it and it's cold outside and I'm going I don't know how many coats I can do so as you can see I abandoned that process here's the shelf I use some white chalk paint which I seem to love at this point um, and it started to paint those shelves. It still required a couple of coats of paint, but um, in the end, you'll see it turned out really well. From that point, I took that back panel while I was actually waiting for the paint to dry. And if you notice, my wall was a different color because I also I was multitasking that day and painted the wall of my office because we just moved, yay! So I painted that wall in my office while I was waiting and then while those shelves were drying, I applied fabric to the back panels. Um, because I have some other colors and things going on, I, I mean, you can definitely use fabric that has some type of pattern to it. I just didn't want to do that knowing the other things that I was putting in this room. So the gray, I think, will really pop with everything else that I have going on. So that being the case, I cut the fabric to size as you can see here um, just draping it over that panel cutting it to size um, the fabric was really wrinkled in this particular case you know I, I probably should have ironed it but I didn't and it still turned out okay so I'm I'm all right with that um, but as you can see once I have the piece that I need I'm gonna take some um, adhesive craft adhesive and I'm just gonna spray it on so I sprayed it on each piece um, or each part of the panel I laid the fabric down on the panel I was trying to even some of that spray out too so be careful in how you apply the spray to the panel but as you can see I'm just laying it down and as I'm laying it down, I'm brushing it flat. So all of those wrinkles, all of those things that was in there eventually came out as, as I pulled the material um, tight in this case. So as you can see, I'm just smoothing it down um, and I will do this to cover the whole panel. Um, one thing that I left a lot of trim around the outside and I wanted to leave it until I had everything stapled back into onto the board but um, you don't need as much trim as I had and I definitely had to go back and trim off um, some of that excess fabric but again you just spray the adhesive down you pull your fabric over it and you just pull your fabric tight until um, it is neatly covering 
your board that your and make sure your fabric isn't um, starting to veer to the left or to the right where you don't have the material centered um, which would cause you not to be able to cover your whole panel from this point I did put those panels back onto the back of the bookshelf um, and as you can see I'm just stapling it down and actually the material helped hold the staple so I would say trim after this after this part so um, again I am just trimming the the I mean trimming I'm not trimming <laughs> I am stapling the panels back on to um, the back of the bookshelf um, so that it can have that finished look in the back and again it just has a fun color there instead of all white so as you will see here in a moment this project turned out beautiful so glad that I did it it's making my Procrast Creation DIY YouTube space beautiful and I love it if you love it please subscribe 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 and like the video see you next time